Hey guys, um, so today I am doing a little question and answer video. All these questions have been posted on anonymous um, social media sites. Um, I thought it would be better to get questions um, off people who were anonymous for then they wouldn't feel like they needed to hold back or anything like that, so yeah. First question. Do you plan on getting full surgery? Um, yes. I would love to have lower surgery. Um, it's something that ever since I first came out as trans, something that I've really wanted. Um, it's been consistent that I want it. So, yeah, I would love to have lower surgery. The only problem is, is the success rate for lower surgery isn't, um, isn't amazing. So, it is a bit of a gamble, but I think it'd be worth it, to be honest. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, next question. Um, what is your sexual orientation? I identify as a straight male. Um, I date women. Well, I date one woman. I'm engaged. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't date women. I am engaged to one. Um, but yeah, the, um, being trans has nothing to do with, um, with what your sexual orientation is. The best thing I've heard someone say about um, gender orientation and sexual orientation is being trans has nothing to do with um, who you want to go to bed with. It's all to do with who you want to go to bed as. So yeah, I think that's like amazing. Um, next question. What's the most difficult thing about being trans? Um, for me, I'd say it'd have to be dysphoria. Dysphoria is horrible and it's just it's just not very good. It just makes you feel horrible about yourself, really. And it just makes life harder for you. Um, I think I explain it better in um, one of my previous videos dealing with dysphoria. So if you're wondering what dysphoria is, just pop over to that and I explain it like right at the beginning of the video. So yeah, um, next question, do your friends and family respect your choice? Yes they do. Um, I am very, very, very lucky to be one of, the one of the people in the trans communities whose family and friends accept them and I haven't really lost um, anyone of importance to me um, from being trans so yeah I've been very lucky with that and I'm so grateful about it because um, I wouldn't know what I don't know what I'd do without the uh, support group that I have um, of friends and fam. Next how did you know you were trans? Um, I knew from a very very early age like more or less as soon as I started talking and walking really um, I would always be drawn to like boy things and stuff like that but um, as I got older I never really understood and thought that I was just a tomboy and then for a while I thought I was just a stereotypical lesbian um, and then it turns out like after I met some trans people and started speaking to them it turns out that um, I am actually a man so yeah um, so that's more or less, that's like the really shorthand version of how I knew I was trans. I think that if I was born in like this generation, I would have probably came out a lot earlier because being trans is a lot more accepting than what it was even just like 10, 15 years ago. This, this one is actually quite a good one because I know, I know a good few people who get confused by this. Um, if someone says trans man, is that male to female or female to male? Now, a trans man is female to male and a trans woman is male to female. Um, the best way to um, remember that is forget the trans bit and just listen to the bit after that. If it's man, then the person obviously wants to identify as a man. 
if it's women, then they want to identify as a woman. Um, is there a nice way to ask how far someone is in their transition? Um, yes, it is. Um, depending, like, for, for me, um, I don't mind someone asking me how far along I am in my transition. Just saying that sentence is nice enough for me. Um, I don't like answering people who are rude about it. Like, if they turn around and go, oh, so have you got tits, or, oh, do you still have a vagina? Or many other words for vagina that people use, that's disgusting. Um, but, yeah, like, as long as, long as you're, um, like, not rude about it, then I'm sure lots of trans people won't mind asking. Um, but it all depends on that trans person like how they feel about speaking about their transition, stuff like that. Um, how well you know them, are they comfortable with you, things like that. If I'm in their, in their desired gender, would it be inappropriate to ask or offer to help them with some things they may not be aware of, makeup etc? Um, me personally, I don't mind advice, help, anything like that, I don't mind that. But once again, just like the previous question, it all depends on how you say it. If you're rude to someone about it and then offer help, they probably won't want it. So as long as you're like nice about it and don't make them feel self-conscious or don't make them feel like they can't do anything. So yeah, it's all how you ask. Like, and also how comfortable that person is. As, as trans, do you feel more pressure in having to conform to your true gender genders, gender roles, like having to be very manly? Um, no, no. Um, when I first came out, yes. Um, I felt I felt the only way that I'd be able to pass as male is if I acted like the most manliest man in the world, which. Turns out that's not the case, because if you do that, you tend to uh, stick out a little bit. So yeah, um, but now I am completely comfortable in myself. Um, I can be extremely camp. I can be, I'm a dancer, I cook, I sew, I clean jobs, stuff like that. Like, it really does not bother me. So yeah, that is my question and answer video, guys. I know, I know it's a bit short. But this is my first one, so I wasn't expecting like loads of questions anyway. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will probably make another video in a couple of days. If not, then it will be this Thursday. So yeah, thanks. See you later. Bye.